Howdy everybody out there in keyboard land, Bad Mark here with Mech Tech one more time. Today we're just going to do a quick unboxing of the Fecker IK75 V3 gasket mount board. Now this is a board that has become quite popular and over on Budget Keebs I have had tons of uh, builds shared there and have a been asked many times by users to review this board. Um, I had previously added, I believe it was the V2, um, though I don't know what the differences are between these. If someone does, I'd love um, to know a little bit more history. But uh, I had it in my cart originally and I don't know why, I can't recall, but for some reason I took it out and I didn't buy it. Uh, but since so many people asked, especially after my uh, budget list for 2022 came out, they're like, why didn't you include this one? It's like, well, I didn't, don't have this board, so obviously I can't review something that I don't personally own. Now with this one, I also got Fecker's version of uh, their Holy Panda. And having made a couple of Holy Pandas myself, I'm actually quite surprised. These are some very tactile and the sound on them is this is stock so we're going to give these a shot later on once we go to build this board but right now I just wanted to do a quick unboxing so that folks out there can get an idea of what you're going to get for for this what are you going to get when you buy this board now I've seen this board as low as 50 and as high as 80 something so uh, but th different options different colors different sellers um, it's obviously much more expensive if you purchase it uh, from a, a state side. I don't know why this isn't being stocked on the state side, but I'm sure it will shortly. So, go ahead and take off the plastic. This is rare. I usually never get anything shrink wrapped um, from China or from AliExpress. So, that was uh, actually quite surprising. And being that the bag was left in the snow and it was torn open, that was a good thing. So, oh, let me see. Do we have. So you see the bottom of the box here. It gives you a descriptions. Type C, RGB lighting, hot swap, 8,000 milliamp hour battery, 75%. I think that's a bigger battery. I'm not sure than the V2 or V1 and a 75%. As we can see, this is basically the same layout as the GMMK uh, Pro. So this is a lot of people are calling this the budget GMMK Pro. Though there are several that follow this this design. The original was the Satisfaction 75. Um, GMMK copied them. I know that a lot of people might not know that. But. All right, so here we go. We got a quick start guide. It's it's a, it's a card, just like you know boards carry nowadays. It's actually not even a card. It's just a folded over piece of paper. So all right, we'll look at that later. And then we've got a nice cover. I do like when they include these plastic covers. And we have the frosted white version. Now, oh, and it comes with an extra. Oh, hey, that's actually nice. I was not aware of that. So this one actually comes in the box with a spare FR4 plate. Look at that. Now that is a nice surprise. I'm a big fan of FR4. I like it better than metal. I think it creates more of a thockier sound. Uh, granted, that could just be my subjective opinion here. And uh, there are some standoffs. That's what it looks like to increase, I guess. Um, I'll have to take a look at it when I get into it. But So that is actually really, really nice. Uh, so folks, if you guys could share with me out there, uh, did you guys get an extra uh, plate? Because this is the first time in any uh, board that I've bought, uh, custom board, custom kits that actually included an extra plate. That's, I mean, that's a more of the enthusiast level, pricier kits that include, you know, extra plates, extra PCBs, um, you know, so you could try out the different materials. I actually just ordered an open box uh, GMMK FR4 plate uh, for 15 bucks which I'm waiting on because I want to hear the difference in sound and I'm doing a big review on uh, on the three boards that are very similar the GMMK Pro the Key Keychron Q1 with knob version and the uh, Akko Mod 007 designer series alright so when we take this this uh, board out 
Now, I'm not the craziest on translucent, but this one is actually pretty nice. Um, being that I may um, modify this, I may change this in the future, but for right now, actually, it's not bad. I mean, it doesn't have underglow, so it's kind of... Hmm. You can see the padding that's been put in there. It's kind of in the way... Oh. But it's like uh, we've got a nice underglow under there. And we've got the port over to the left. Now I just want to, just for comparison's sake, and see the size is very similar. This is the NJ or NH, NJ80, NH80, or TH80. Um, so yeah, the ports are different. They're definitely set off to the side. And this design is definitely closer to the GMMK uh, with that. that, that I don't know, scoop coming down, uh, not chamfered, uh, not beveled, I forgot what this, uh, just angled down, it is much closer to um, what a GMMK Pro is, so it looks like we've got a set of uh, sample switches, and we've got a braided USB, hm, not bad, I mean it's not the best cable, but it's definitely good for a cable that's included stock, I like that, and oh, these actually have little thumb grips, I mean, uh, honestly, I'm, I'm, they actually even have a protective um, plastic over the metal part here, which this is usually only seen on better made quality products. I gotta say, I'm I'm surprised here, and I'm impressed. I'm actually surprised and impressed. I, I know it's little things like that, but if you put attention, pay attention to little details like that, then the big ones you're really gonna pay attention to. Now, here we have, uh, I actually have one of these already, I believe, yeah. Oh no, that's the polia. Which, yeah, I do have the polias. Oh, those are the clear. That's a linear. That's a clicky. There's the holy pandas. And I don't know what these are. It's a tactile, definitely, but with a white stem. And then, looks like the uh, huh, it's like a linear with a pink stem. Huh. So the construction of this thing now, for certain, this is much better built than the um, NT75 as it comes. I was going to pull it out, but I don't have it right here around me right now. Um, it definitely has a lot more weight. It's a lot more substantial. Now, do know that this has north-facing LEDs. Now. I, I have to say, I personally have never experienced interference with um, cherry profiles on row three with north facing LEDs. I think that issue has been for the most part corrected by the shape of the housing of the switches. So I think this whole north facing, south facing thing really just needs to, I don't know, be put to rest because I think it's been made a bigger deal than it needs to be. The thing is, if you are using shine through caps and you want that light to come through north facing switches um, are the ones that are going to work for that light if you have south facing switches and you have regular top clear shine through very little to no light at all is going to come out at that point you have to get which there's very few choices front or side legend shine through so i really Honestly, I'm, I mean, RGB, I could take it or leave it. I like to have at least a single color, but, um, you know, for just in case, but I could take it or leave it. So I'm really just on I, neither side of the north facing versus south facing because I, I don't think that that's that much of an issue. Now, the knob is quite, quite nice. Um, let me see if it pulls off fairly easy. Oh, yeah, it does. So, and it's your standard D knob, so <laughs> D knob, potentiator meter knob. So, it should be able to work with others that are just you know, standard size. Let me see. Put it in here. Now, obviously, that one is not quite as wide, but uh, oh, this is probably going to be too wide. This is one that I 3D printed. That one actually doesn't go down all the way. 
actually it does have a, a D in there, but I think it's a little too tight. And then uh, That's a cute little white one, but uh, thankfully it comes off pretty good, pretty easily, as opposed to others. Um, I think they're uh, trying to copy GMMK here a bit by going with the silver knob and the white colorway, but what do I know? Where it is? Which this way? There we go. All right. So. Uh, all right, let's take a look at these stabilizers then. So these are the stock stabilizers. Spacebar stabilizer is pretty solid. Uh, the shift is eh. eh. All right, so there's still some looseness to the stabilizers, but overall they seem pretty good um, for stock stabilizers. But we will be modifying this. Um, I don't want to give any bad impressions. I, I did a sound test with a uh, a non-modified or non-corrected stabilizer board uh, yesterday on a Tester 68. Got some uh, negative feedback on my stabilizers because they were bad. So I'm going to fix these stabilizers first um, and dress the stabilizers and then we'll do a sound test. But I just wanted to do a quick unboxing to show you guys what you get for, like I said, in the $50 to $75 range. And this V3 appears to have now a... Oh, I am so sorry appears now to ha come with this uh, extra FR4 plate to replace the what I assume is a steel plate. It looks like a steel plate. feels like a steel plate. But anyway, this so far is uh, really piquing my interest. I'm really excited to see what this board is going to sound like and what we're going to be able to get out of this. Especially, um, actually I probably will just go with FR4 plate since I'm going to be opening her up anyway. And um, It'd be much easier to do the stabs on there, onto the uh, fixing the sta stabilizer, putting the, the tape on there for a better grip with the um, the plate out of the way. So let me go ahead and throw everything back in together. Uh, this will should be coming over the weekend sometime as I have time. I am working on a project, but I wanted to go ahead and get this out. There. Let's turn it off. the battery all right so, so uh, first impressions uh, I'm pretty excited about this board I think it it is a much better choice in my first impression than in the next time 75 uh, so right now it's basically going to be a head-to-head -head against the NJ80 and to see which one is the better one or man, who knows maybe they're both just as comparable but I keep hearing really great things about this board so I'm excited to uh, to dig into it to find out well that was a quick unboxing I hope this helped anybody that might be on the fence but like I said more video coming soon of what this board sounds like and looks like on the inside until then keep calm and keyboard on